Hello guys, this week we will talk about Laravel multi-tenancy on this channel. Throughout this week I will be publishing some videos from my newest course which is called Laravel multi-tenancy, all you need to know. This week I will publish six videos from that course, so seven days a week, one day is for Saturday tradition video from my car, so there will be two parts, three videos each. One part is about simple user multi-tenancy, so how to divide your data so every user would see only their own data. And then there will be team multi-tenancy. First three videos from here. So how to divide the data into teams or companies or tenants you may call them. So these are the videos from the beginning of this course. Later we dive into the course into invitation system, then single database with packages. And then we go into multi-database setup and more complex stuff in the course. So I will publish, as I said, six lessons from that course throughout this week. And we'll start with a very simple case of how to set user ID for every record, for example, in this store method. And there are two ways I will show in this video. If you want full course or don't want to wait for all the videos and also want to get the source code of the projects, the course itself is here on laraveldaily.teachable.com. You can purchase that or you can subscribe to yearly membership to get all the courses, currently 31 courses at the moment. Now let's dive into the user ID field for user multi-tenancy. We start our course with a very simple definition of multi-tenancy, which is tenancy by user. Some people and some packages don't even consider that as multi-tenancy because tenancy is often considered as like company or team or domain or something more complex. But in a way, tenancy is dividing your project data by some tenant and that tenant may be a company but maybe just a user. So for the very simple definition, we will cover the example of how to divide your structure of your projects or tasks, which is eloquent models by users. So I have a demo project created with very simple Laravel Breeze starter kit and two models, two CRUDs for projects and tasks. And task belongs to a project. So in this section, we will cover how to create user ID field and how to filter it by that. So every user would see only their projects and their tasks. Currently in the database, we have the structure of projects and then tasks belonging to a project. So in this video first, Let's discuss how to add user ID field and I will show you two ways how to do that automatically. So first let's do the migration, PHP Artisan make migration, add user ID to projects table. We don't need user ID for the tasks because task belongs to a project which will have user ID. So we'll have two level relationships. So we have the migration and we fill that in with table foreign ID user id constraint which is a shorter version of references id on users table and we also add the user id to project model to fillable that's my personal preference to have all the fields fillable except for id and timestamps and then our goal is to add user id to the projects in fact let's delete the current project and current task so we will not have a problem of not null user id and in the project controller, CRUD of project controller, in store method, we create the record with request validated. Request validated comes from form request class from here. So we only save the name. So if we want to save user ID, as I said, I will show you two ways. First, you can do that in the controller here in the store. For example, request validated plus user ID equals auth ID. Let's do exactly that. Let's migrate our changes, PHP Artisan migrate. And now if we add new project, something we add, and then in the database, we refresh our project table and we have user ID two. So that's one way to add user ID. But in a more flexible way, you should do that automatically wherever that project creation is coming from. It may be from that controller, but it may be from some terminal command, artisan command, maybe some API, and it's not convenient to add that user ID in all those places individually. So for that, you could create that method in the model. In the model of project, you could override the existing boot method, boot, which is protected static function from the models. You need to call parent boot, and then you can do whatever. So we need to do self creating, and then have a callback function, function 
model, we need to set model user ID to auth ID here. Let's remove that to do and let's try it out. Comment out that plus user ID. I will leave it like this so you would have both options in the repository and let's try it out again. Add a new project, 222 second project, save project and in the database refresh we still have user ID 2. So another way to automatically set something, some field like in this case user ID is in boot method self-creating on the Laravel model. So we have set our user ID field. Now how to filter by that field everywhere, wherever you need projects or tasks. We will discuss a few ways in upcoming few videos.